everyone, I'm Lindy. I am here today to tell you guys how to edit fireworks into the back of your Instagram pictures. Which, if you don't follow me, you should. My Instagram ad name will be right down here. I do a ton of Instagram editing videos on this channel, and I want to help you guys have super fun pictures as well. So, let's get right into it. I was just laying in bed thinking about how tomorrow is the 4th of July, thinking about how hard it is to take pictures in front of fireworks. I've tried this before. It was a wreck. No, thank you! No, thank you! <laughs> it kind of looked like I was under attack. You can take a picture in front of fireworks and everything, but what I think would be easier is to just edit the fireworks in. I promise. It's not weird, I won't tell anyone that your fireworks aren't real. Yes, so this is a video about how to edit fireworks into the back of your, your pictures. And I looked this up, and there's some videos about how to do this using Lightroom or Photoshop. But I want to show you guys a super quick and easy way to do this on your phone. Alright, first thing you need, your phone. Okay, so I'm just going to fly through this pretty quick because I want to get this out for you guys before the 4th, which is in like, what, 5 hours? Alright. So, my first tip is to make sure that your pictures are taken at nighttime. This makes it look the most natural. So I'm going to go ahead and use this picture of Abby and I from last summer. Um, Abby is my roommate from freshman year. If you ever saw our Southern Living Dorm video. Hey! Welcome to Ole Miss. That's the homie. Alright, so I'm taking that picture. And before I do anything, you want to find your firework picture. Now you could take your own firework picture. But it can be hard, like I've said already. The easiest thing that I think to do is to go to a source where you can get copyright free images. Type in fireworks, and boom, you got some. My favorite is pexels.com. I'll link it and of course write it down here. All right, so when you go to pexels, you can just type in fireworks. And then pick whichever one you think looks best. Um, though this one you can see has a blue sky. I don't really think that will look as good. Some of them kind of look a little unrealistic. So I'm just going to go ahead and grab this one right here. Um, I'm just going to hold down and save. And you can see free for personal and commercial use. So these are all good to go. You can edit these, do whatever you need. So then I'm going to open up that into Snapseed. I'm going to open up Snapseed. And we're going to get the picture of Abby and I. And this is like the literal only step to get these fireworks in the background. Click tools. Scroll down to double exposure. It's on the bottom row. Click on that, and then you'll see at the bottom there's three little symbols. Click on the one farthest to the left. It's a little like add picture sign. Give that a click. Click on your fireworks, and you can see it already looks honestly pretty good. So when you click the middle symbol on the bottom, that shows you the different ways you can layer the um, firework picture on top. But the one that it def like defaults to, which is lighten, looks the best in my opinion. So you can literally just move the firework all around, like literally just grab it and move. So I'm just going to put it in the right corner, kind of going to angle it. There we go. Um, and then you can decide your opacity, but I think right there in the middle looks the best because when you do it all the way up, the sky kind of becomes too harsh and I think it can look fake. So the middle I think works the best. Now here's the part where you get it behind you and obviously in the sky. So at the top of the screen you can see on the top right there's three little symbols and the far left on the right is a little undo sign. So you're going to click that and then this little menu will pop up and you click view edits and you can see it shows where I did double exposure. So if you tap on that and then click the middle symbol which is like a little paintbrush in the square, click on that. Then wherever you brush on the screen the firework will come up. So I'm just going to brush the sky behind Abby's head kind of roughly doing this. Oop, got some on my head. The more, I guess, um, attention you give this and the more focus you put into this, the more natural it's going to look. So, yeah. And then you can just do, like, when you click on double exposure to brush this on, at the bottom there's an up arrow and a down arrow, and if you click it down a few times you'll get it to zero, which means it's pretty much just an eraser and you can erase it if you make any mistakes. So let's zoom out, and you just click the little check mark, click back, and you can see before and after. Now, you know, I got some on Abby's arm, but I was rushing. So I honestly think that if you do this, and then, maybe if you do this before you edit your picture and then you put the filters over it, that would help then it would make it look super natural and you can have a fun 4th of July picture and people are going to be like, wow, how did you do that? Mine look like trash like mine did in the past. So yeah, I hope this helped. Let me know if you tried this out. 4th of July is, like I said, tomorrow, so I'll definitely have a picture up and I'm pretty sure I'm going to do this 
for it, so stay tuned. Give me a thumbs up if you like this kind of content. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more Instagram editing hacks along with DIYs and other stupid stuff that I dream up. So yeah, thanks everyone.